Yeah, I think what we look at it is look at traditional systems of how data is stored and managed on centralized systems. Uh, even when it's on a cloud, it's really centralized. So one way to look at it is, you know, a lot of the user data was probably stored on one server or a cluster of servers uh, on the cloud. So if somebody's trying to get in, they can just get into that one, net, uh, one cloud server and basically steal a good proportion of data records right away. Now, if that worked once, they can go, okay, there's other servers there. We tried this method for a little marginal effort. They can go and hit up all the other servers in that cluster and steal more and more. So what you're saying is this hack could essentially have been preventable? Well, in new models that are coming up, such as, you know, the blockchain, using distributed uh, systems, decentralized systems, those are new ways that you can prevent all this stuff because instead of storing, like what we're working on is, instead of storing an entire, let's say, Pavel Baines' records of name, address, date of birth, um, all in one thing and put it on a cloud, what we would do is put in a decentralized network where you shard it, break it up into a number of pieces, spread it on a swarm of computers, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of them. So even if somebody got into one swarm, all they did was get a bunch of pieces that they can't get together. It wouldn't say Pavel Bain's entire record of where he lives, address. All they might do is get, hey, he's at 18 Harborview Road, uh, but it has no name attached to it because that's sitting on a different swarm of uh, computers that's decentralized. So if somebody needed to break in, in a decentralized system, they'd have to take w over one, central, one swarm of network of computers, take information that has no context to it, and then try to replicate that and go into another one with its own separate security levels. So it's like basically taking pieces, spreading them onto hundreds of vaults around the world, and each one is encrypted differently, and you've got to keep breaking in each time. That can't scale, costs too much, so it's, not a, it's, not, it's a cost-benefit relationship to somebody to break in.